Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. Okay, so this is um, PET 203, Soil Mechanics, Lecture 3, Part 2. As we uh, greet, mm, I mean, as promised, in, I mean, from the previous session, in this session, um, I'm going to show you guys how to solve example example two okay so uh, we have to classify the soil using unified soil classification system uh, and then in this example we are going to um, I mean we are going to solve example two Okay, so uh, you can see this, you can get this question from the slide. All right, okay, let's start, okay? Uh, as we can see, the soil name is soil 9. And then sieve analysis, percent finer. Percent finer means percent passing. Okay, percent finer ni adalah percent tanah yang passing, melepasi sieve. Number four, which is seventy-one percent, melepasi sif number four, and uh, eleven percent, uh, melepasi sif number two hundred, and liquid limit given is thirty-two. Plasticity index given is sixteen, and here, because ni a bit different from um, example one. Uh, because we have CU and CC. What is CU? What is CC? Please, um, please study. Okay, please read uh, or please explore what is CU and um, CC. So CU is 4.8, CC is 2.9. So what we have to do is, apa yang kita kena buat ialah kita kena classify soil 9 ni. Soil 9 is just a name okay number 9 ni adalah nama soil tu we have to classify the soil using uscs okay and mm, the complete answer is you have to give this one you have to give a uh, group symbol and then you have to give group name okay so let's start okay first you have to do this Okay, so uh, for me, I suggest you to draw this. Draw the sieve from um, side view. Lukis dulu uh, sieve ni, ayak ni daripada pandangan sisi. Okay, so number four sieve um, is at the top since the opening, since uh, diameter dia lebih besar. Okay, and number 200 is at the bottom. Okay, since uh, dia punya opening dia lebih kecil okay this is pan pan uh, dekat bawah sekali pan is just um, satu bekas and then bawah ni tak ada lubang tak ada lubang-lubang tak ada liang-liang okay just a pan untuk menahan soil daripada atas alright so given percent finer uh, or passing is 71% okay ni kita ambil daripada soalan lah okay 71% of soil melepasi number 4. Okay, we did this before in example 1. Kita dah buat uh, dari example 1, okay? So, 71% passing uh, number 4 sieve maksudnya yang akan tertinggal yang retained uh, on this sieve is 29. How we get 29? 29 we got we got this from simple math 100 sorry can you see 100 minus 71 so you got 29 okay same goes with this sama juga dengan uh, number 200 11% passing number 200 sieve so yang tertinggal adalah 89% so 100 minus 11 okay so from here uh, we have to refer those tables and the figures remember 
Okay, we will start with um, table 5.2, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's look at table 5.2. Okay, so this is table um, 5.2. Okay, so as we did in example 1, we refer to the first column. So, kita nak tahu, kita adakah uh, coarse grain soils or fine grain soils. So, we have to look at sieve number 200. Okay, sieve number 200. Okay, let's look. I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. I mean, shifting from one page to another, another one. So, alright. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is number 200 sieve. Data yang kita ada. Percent passing is 11, percent retain is 89. Okay, so when we look back at here, this is more than 50% retain on number 200 C. Okay, ayat, ayat dia, more than 50% retain on number 200 um, C. So tadi, percent retain on number 200 C. Yang kita dah uh, kira is 89. Betul? 89. So, 89 is, of course, bigger than 50. Betul? So, kita di coarse grain soils. Right? Okay, we're done. So, we are not here. So, you can stop looking at this. So, just focus on on the first, I mean, on the top portion here. Okay, lepas tu, kita move to column uh, dua. Okay, so we want to know whether uh, we are gravel or we are sand. So, you have to read, okay, under here. Uh, dia punya sentence bawah ni, dia merujuk kepada sieve number four. So, let's look at sieve number four. Okay, so... Ini data yang kita ada uh, for sieve number 4. 71% passing, 29% uh, retained. So, um, here it says more than 50% retained. Okay, more than 50% retained. So, based on our... <clears throat> Excuse me, based on our data, 29% retained. So, 29 is less. So, we are not gravel. Okay? Sebab 29 ni, kurang daripada 50. So, for sure, we are sand. Okay? Uh, just to double check, 50% or more passing number 4. So, tadi data kita menunjukkan yang passing number 4 is 71%. So, 71 is bigger than 50. Okay, so we are sun. Okay, now let's move on to... Uh, okay, let's move on to... The same with example uh, 1. Let's move on to here. Okay. Let's move on to this uh, fourth column. Column keempat dalam table ni. Okay, kalau saya tunjukkan, column 1, column 2, saya lah panggil, okay? I, I name it as column 1, 2, 3, and 4. And last one is 5. Okay, so let's move on to column 4. Okay, kita send kan? So, kita tengok di sini lah. Okay, so let's look at this. Alright, so let's go for CU. Uh, given our CU is... 4.8 okay so see you kita you can refer to the to the data our CU is <clears throat> sorry yeah so this is our CU CU is 4.8 okay as you can see here 4.8 is it's not bigger than 6 isn't it okay so this is not right anymore okay dah tak betul dah and cc kita pula cc kita berapa 
CC our CC is sorry our CC is 2.9 okay so kat sini CC is 2.9 so it is um ya yeah, 2.9 adalah lebih kecil daripada 3 dan lebih besar daripada 1 okay this is correct tapi kita tak mematuhi this one we don't comply to this kita tak patuh kepada ni kita just patuh kepada satu so dia akan cancel the whole thing sebab kalau awak tengok sini perkataan dia adalah and and maksudnya yang ni this one kita kena patuh or kita kena meet the requirement this one we have to meet the requirement as well tapi case ni yang ni kita dah tak meet requirement Okay, kita just meet this requirement, so therefore, we cannot uh, use this. Maksudnya, sorry, can you see? So, we cannot classify our soil as SW. Okay, alright, let's go to the second, um, second, what is it? Uh, criteria. Okay, so kita tengok, kita meet ke tak? So, CU, our CU is 4.8 just now, isn't it? So, 4.8 is, yes, it is less than 6. Okay, 4.8 adalah kurang daripada 6. So, we meet this. Tapi, kalau awak tengok, I want you to focus on this. Dia punya perkataan dia adalah and or or. Maksudnya, salah satu ni, we have to comply. Okay, yang tadi kat atas, we have to comply dua-dua. Kita kena patuh kepada dua-dua sebab dia use and. But here, kalau kita dah comply satu pun dah okay. So, we comply to this. Kita patuh kepada ni. Therefore, our, can you see? Uh, we can classify our soil as SP. Okay. Alright, let's move on. We have to check all the four uh, criteria, okay? Alright, so uh, let's go to the third criteria. PI, the plasticity index. Okay, berapa plasticity index kita? Our plasticity index is 16. Ini given eh, diberi dalam soalan. Okay, so 16. <coughs> 16 is less than 4. Four, this is wrong, isn't it? 16 bukan kecil daripada 4, kan? So, this is wrong already. Okay. Bila salah, we cannot classify our soil as SM. Okay. So, let's check the fourth criteria. Criteria keempat. PI, plasticity index. Um, our plasticity index is 16. Besar daripada 7. So, this is correct. Okay, so therefore, we can classify our soil as C, uh, as SC as well. Okay, and remember, plots on or above A line ni, kita boleh check dengan figure 5.3. You can check. Okay, um, so therefore, yang kita nampak dekat sini, if you notice, our soil is not SW, it is not SM. Okay, dia bukan SW. Bukan SM, but we can classify as SP and SC. Okay, so untuk tulis, so this is the answer. Okay, this is the answer for group symbol. Okay. Okay, so um, untuk group symbol ni, for the group symbol. So, yay, we found the answer already. Okay, kita dah dapat jawapan. Okay, so how to write is like this. Uh, SP dash SC that's how to write okay they are the kembar SP dash SC in example one um, it's just one isn't it if I'm not wrong it is SC or something dalam example dalam contoh satu but in this example the group symbol uh, is the group symbol is dual okay this is a uh, dual group. Bukan dua eh, dual. 
dual group symbol which means they are the kambala they are the twin there all right so this is the answer for group symbol okay we're not done yet because we have to also find a group name so how to i'm sorry how to find the group name okay so okay so for group name uh, ingat tak saya cakap uh, we, you have to either refer to figure 5.4 figure 5.5 or figure 5.6 okay dalam bahasa melayunya untuk mendapatkan group name ni awak kena refer sama ada figure uh, 5.4 figure 5.5 atau figure 5.6 but then uh, how to know which one to refer it's very easy awak tengok dekat figure yang ada awak punya group symbol tadi jawapan tadi so SPSC bila SPSC ni it is sorry it is in it is in figure um, 5.4 Okay, look at figure 5.4. So we go straight away to SPSC, which is here, nampak? Mm, yeah, this one, SPSC. Okay, so now, uh, nampak dia mencapah dua ni, uh, dia punya arrow. We have two arrows. It is either uh, less than 15% gravel or more than 15% gravel. So which one? You have to refer to slide number 37, I think okay so okay guys for um gravel fraction if you refer to slight uh slide 37 i think okay gravel fraction uh the criteria is uh percent retained on number four sieve okay percent yang um, tertinggal di atas sieve number empat so just refer back to our data so that's why it's very important to draw this i mean to yeah to sketch this first at the very beginning of the uh, of answering the question muda-muda awak nak jawab soalan berkenaan classify as well ni i suggest saya jarangkan you draw this first okay uh it will help you um uh to find uh in finding your answers okay okay back to this gravel fraction uh sama dengan percent retain on number four sieve so we refer back to this um to the to the diagram that we sketch so number four percent retain is 29 isn't it so which is equals to 29 percent Okay, so let's go back to um, figure 5.4 today. So, okay guys, so we are, uh, our group symbol is SPSC. So, tadi kita dapat, we got 29%, isn't it? 29%, okay. 29% retained on number 4C. So, in 29 is, of course, bigger than 15. So, we are this one. Okay, so don't look at this anymore. So, but we are not here. So, we are here. So, therefore, um, this is our group name. Okay. Dah dapat terus lah group name. Okay. So, this is group name punya portion. See? Group name. Okay. Okay, move. Saya bergerak balik ke bawah slowly. So, this is the group name. Poorly graded sand with clay and gravel. Ataupun nama pendek dia. Silty clay and gravel. Okay, so let's write this in our answer sheet. Jom kita tulis balik jawapan ni dekat kita punya kita jawapan tadi. So okay guys, uh, these are our complete answer. Ini adalah um, jawapan yang lengkap. Okay. Uh, if you are asked to classify the soil. Uh, using USCS or Unified Soil Classification System and then we have to give the group symbol kita kena bagi group symbol and the group name so this is how to write down your answer so group symbol, so today's lagi sekali it is SPSC okay, dual uh, group symbol ataupun dia ada kembar berbeza dengan example satu 
di mana dia single je okay uh, and then the group name is poorly graded sand with clay and gravel you okay, make sure you give this two answers uh, supaya jawapan awak lengkap kalau awak bagi satu je uh, your answer is not complete jawapan awak tak lengkap alright that's all guys for uh, example 2 uh, I hope this video helps you guys to understand uh, this topic inshallah alright thank you very much for listening bye